Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the rsync utility. rsync is a command line utility. There are also graphical interfaces that people have built for it, but it's used for copying files from one directory to another, or you can copy from a directory to a separate server. So in this video, I'm going to just focus on copying from one directory to another. And if you uh, open up a terminal and type rsync, and hit enter, you'll see there are many arguments you can pass to rsync and it can get a little bit overwhelming. So I'm going to talk, talk about the ones I mostly use. And you know, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments because I know this can be a little bit confusing. So I have two directories here. I have this ephoto underscore doc with all these folders in on it. And these all have JPEG images. And then I have this SD card over here. So I want to copy the files from here over to the SD card. So I will type um, rsync and then I'll type dash. And then for the arguments, well, I made some notes here. Uh, a very important one, especially if you're just starting out, is dash n. So what dash n will do is it will do a dry run of your rsync statement without actually transferring anything. So you can um, get everything set up as you want. You have n on there, you'll test it. And if it looks right, you can remove the n, it'll actually copy the files. Next, I'll type A, and A is kind of confusing. If you look at the help, A has, it says it's the same as dash R, L, P, T, G, O, D, but without H. So I've copied those here, and I'll put a link in the description to my website uh, page on there with show notes with all this information. So dash H is preserve hard links. So it's not going to do that, but um, it does all these other things. And that would be R, which is recurse into directories. Uh, that means it goes um, inside a directory. Um, and then if there are directories inside that, it will go inside those directories and so on and so forth. Uh, dash L says copy sim links as sim links. Dash P preserves permissions. T preserves times and G preserves group and O preserves owner. And this says super user only. So this is if you're running it as a root. And then D says same as devices special. So I've copied th those here. You have devices says preserve device files and special says preserve special files. So this here represents A, except for the hard links. Um, so it does a lot of things if you have dash A. And then you have dash V says increase verbosity. So that gives us more information on the screen. Dash U says skip files that are newer on the receiver. So that if you're copying to a directory and it already has some files on it that have been updated, it won't overwrite those if you use U. Dash Z is compressed file data during transfer. So that's probably more important if you're transferring over a network, especially a slow network. Dash C says skip based on checksum, not mod size and date. So this will compare the uh, mod time and the size to check and see if the file is the same on the uh, source and the target. And this is another way of doing it is using a checksum. So if you're having trouble um, getting a proper sync using mod time and size, you can do dash C and this will check that each file is exactly the other file. And then delete deletes files on the destination and dash P um, shows a progress bar. So we'll put A here, we'll do V, we'll do a P. I'm not going to do a U right now or a Z, but I will do dash dash delete. So if I open up this SD card directory, I'll just copy some files in here. So I have two files in there now. And now I will choose my source folder. So that is tilde forward slash. So that means my home directory. And this here, this ephoto doc is in documents. So I'll type that out and then I'll type ephoto underscore doc and then forward slash and then I'll type space. So that's my source. And then my destination, I'll type forward slash volumes forward slash SD card, and then I'll hit enter, and you'll see it showed all these files here, and it says some files could not be transferred. I'm not sure which ones those are. And if we scroll up, it shows a bunch of hidden files, and here you'll see it says deleting yard and this R001342.jpg. That's because we have the deletion flag in there. So this is showing everything that's going to get copied. So I'll scroll back down here. I'll press my up arrow to go into my history and go back to this command. If I, you type control A, that'll take you to the beginning of the line. And then I'll use my cursor over here and I'll delete the dash N and I'll hit enter. And I'll probably speed the video up here while this is copying, but this should start copying it. Okay, my copy was interrupted. Actually, I hit control C. But, um, you know, let's say that you got this copy, you started copying it and something happened. Maybe the power went out or you got interrupted, something like that. Or maybe you need to use your computer for something else. So right now we have a partial transfer here. I can type, let's see, I can type du space dash sh space forward slash volumes forward slash sd card. I think this will tell us, yeah. So this says it copied 333 megabytes. If I run the same command on the folder we're copying, it says there's 3.8 gigabytes. So now I, I want to continue copying now. So I'll push up 
arrow until I get back to my command. And when I start running this, if I hit this, it won't recopy those files. It will know they're already on the destination. So it'll just start um, copying from where it left off. And as you see, it says CD14 here, and it's copying the CD14 folder. Okay, I'll stop this again. I really don't want that progress bar. It's kind of pointless. So I'll remove the P here, and I'll start it up again. And now it's just showing the files that it's copying. You know, I don't even have to show those. So I'll take the V off, and then it will just copy. Okay, that's finished now. So let's say that I'm kind of concerned that something may not have transferred properly. So I'll go up here and I'm pushing my up arrow until I have the rsync-av and then I'll add c to it and that'll do checksum. So checksum will calculate the checksum on the source file and then on the destination file and we'll check to make sure they're the same. The downside is it takes a lot longer. So I'll run this and just out of curiosity, we'll find out how much time this takes. So I'll go to the beginning of my line and I'll type time space and this will tell us how long this is gonna take because I'm gonna cut the video or speed it up or something. Okay, that has completed and it says there's an error and it says some files were not transferred. And if we look up here in the notes, it's a bunch of uh, spotlight metadata that's not transferring. I don't really care about that. So adding that C made it, uh, it took two minutes. If we take C off and hit enter, and we'll leave the time on, we'll see how fast this is. Okay, you'll see that's a lot faster because it wasn't checking the checksum of every file. If we add a file to this over here on the left, I'll just copy this picture and then we'll run this again you'll see it copied this file over. So it was very quick. So you can um, modify this and then sync it over very quickly. You don't have to look at what individual files um, need to be transferred. It does that all for you. Then if we go over here and we delete this and we go here and run this again, you'll see it deleted that file. So it kept it in sync. So that's the basics of using rsync to copy files from one directory to another. I, like I said, in a future video, I'll probably do some other things like doing network um, transfers and things like that. If you have anything you want me to cover, put a comment down below and I can maybe make a video on it. So, and also if you have any questions, add them down below. And if you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.